Hello everyone and welcome to yet another Subpixel live stream. Joining us today is our special guest. I'm not sure if he's been on the program before. I believe his name is Wild Crispy. Is that right? Ian, every freaking time you say yeah. joining us, who's us? It's me. I'm joining you. There's nobody else. Yeah, we have viewers, Will. I know there's no, only three of them, count. but we do have viewers. They don't count. Actually, this is a good intro combo. Like, okay, so joining us, like, I don't view this as it's just the two of us and we don't reference the audience at all. I think because we reference the audience that I view it as, like, joining us, as in, like, joining the entire ensemble, including the people watching the show. No, I, I think you would say joining me is Johnny. wild crispy whatever your stupid no, joke see look. i think that's I'm in the too... mood for it tonight yeah okay you know what screw it we're playing factorio hello everybody um welcome to factorio uh this is the first time we're playing this game will um this is also your first time playing the game right i've never played this game before uh this is my actually negative 10th time playing this game yeah we've done a lot um we also have done very little how much have you played this since last week um i played for like an hour last night when i was trying no two nights ago because uh my brother and my friend are playing space engineers and it Ooh. is the stupidest dumbest game i've ever seen in my I life know. i tried to play it but i just could not get used it to has the like controls. a survival mode now <gasps> oh that sounds pretty interesting and i played it for about five minutes and i i'm not saying i gave the game a chance because i did not but i thought it Clearly. was really stupid yeah. so i left and then i played factorio for like 30 minutes yeah That's i remember it. trying to play space engineers and it was just like i wanted to love it so much and i played it for a couple hours but i just could not get over the controls in terms of like rotating the camera rotating pieces and then like getting in and trying to move the craft or the vehicle it was it was yeah. not very intuitive at all it, it's my brother keeps explaining as like minecrafty yes but it's it's not Minecraft and like I love Minecraft. I played a lot of Minecraft. Yeah. But it's it didn't have that kind of feel to me. It kind of felt like Seven Days to Die a little bit. And I also really like that game, but I don't know. I just I might give it a second chance, but I don't have a lot of so, time for to play video games. Yeah, and I've I've been playing a little bit, but I haven't been playing a huge amount. Yeah, um, you were playing a lot back when we first started. I think I played maybe another five or six hours this week, which That's is because this game is crack relevant. cocaine. Also, I think I think we've hit a wall. Let's be honest. Let's take a look at the numbers. We are currently at thirty-two point five cars per minute. It's not bad. I think when we stopped, we were we thought we were at twenty, but I think it's just because we had material backup. We were actually closer to like two or three. Yeah. But, so our main problem is we're not getting enough engines to the car. Yes. Uh, construction, which that what is causing that is we're not getting enough steel to the yes. engine production. And as you can see, we are cranking out a lot of steel. There's also a bunch of steel furnaces that are running out of coal. So I need to figure out how to get more coal. So I think the issue is our main coal patch is starting to run dry, but we have a giant coal patch up top, all the way up in Copper Town, that I think I just need to run a bunch of conveyor belts from there. How about you help me do that? Cause that's gonna take forever. Okay, I'm gonna uh i was gonna start building something so we can just uh start cranking out well i think I'm, calls it. I'm honestly gonna need your help on the coal though because it's we have to make a conveyor bait conveyor belt all the way up to copper town oh gotcha do we want to make yeah. it fast i don't think we make it fast because it would take way too long to make those that's true i should just... you know what i should have done this week I made uh something that makes fast conveyor belts yeah Although I replaced a lot. Oh, we have a special request from the audience from one um, a Alex Crispy. Um, he says, I want to see Will's face. Weird, that's not what he said last night. Special. Mm -hmm. Wait, are you used to hearing that during the <laughs> night dance? <laughs> the night dance. The, the beast with two backs is, <laughs> oh, I don't want to see your face. I don't want to see your face. <laughs> The beast with two back. Okay, all right. I might have lied. I'm about to make 600 conveyor belts. Oh, just collect them all. They're all down here. Oh, dang it. Where are Wait, they? Wait, you're making 600 regular conveyor belts? 
Yeah, you've got them Why don't down you just here. Just grab right? them down here. There's so many. There they are. Yeah, I see you now. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I'm gonna fix the coal. Do you want to see if you can figure out what else is the issue? I mean, it's mainly this. Look at how much steel is coming in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. And that's because so you say the steel furnaces are running dry. Yeah. Yeah. You see how they're running dry of coal? It's because our our main yeah. coal patch is just not feeding enough. Where is the steel? Oh yeah. So I need oh, to. Oh wow, Ian! I'm gonna hop on this train, and I'm gonna take this it up to Copper good. Town. Let's go to Copper. Where Town. does the coal come in from? The coal comes in from that main coal patch, and then I think there was a secondary coal patch. So the secondary one is iron just... patch. So this one's not running anymore. Yeah. So, the, but there's a giant patch up above Copper. Then I'm going to put some miners on and just Oops. run a conveyor belt all the way down. Perfect. Exactly. So just tell me where you want it to come down to. I'm going to follow. I'm going to drop it in like maybe five spaces east of the, um, the iron ore heading from the north. Does that make sense? Yes. Because it's basically going to follow the power line. Five, okay, can you say everything you said again? Five spaces east? Okay, all right. So if you are looking at the main iron ore line that runs um, from the north into the south. Yeah, the one you're approaching. This so one, I am yes. going to drop it about five or six spaces east of that. It's probably closer to 10 spaces because I'm going to thread it in between the um, boilers and the steam engines. So right here? Yeah, roughly there. I mean, more in line with the, yeah, right around that area. Because I'm going to follow the power lines, which continue there all the way to the north. Oh, what if I do it right here? OK, let's see. Well, I just want to find you so I can just build this, and you can work on the other stuff. Oh, well, I mean, I'm, I can just run the whole thing. Oh, okay. That's that's the why I wanted to know. I was just gonna oh actually start running you, well, it down here. Oh, you mean you're just gonna tie it in down there? How about you start tying it in down there and work your way north towards the steam engine boilers, and I'll okay. work my way south. Copy. Um, How many do I have? Got yeah, it works for me. Why am I running along? We now. Oh, I've made a huge mistake. I hate okay. so much steam. I mean, the, the boilers seem to be getting plenty of c -c 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 coal. Yeah, well, it's because they're I, I prioritize their feeding. We had some. Um, uh, I don't. What's the difference between a brownout and a blackout? Uh, oh, isn't a brownout where it like partially like dims but a blackout is when it goes out yeah yeah maybe that's right so we we had some brownouts um where basically we weren't feeding enough coal so we were losing oh, so i had to like reprioritize that coal flow to make sure that we are always sending coal to Make sure that we are always sending coal to um what's it called to the boilers yep. mm -hmm. okay so where's the line where the heck is steel production oh there it is oh um another breaking correction from uh this is a different guy his name is alexos crispy i didn't make that last name different enough clearly uh, and he says that a brownout is in your pants. Learn something new every day. Will, how excited are you for PAX East? I'm very excited for PAX I'm East. I'm very excited as well. I keep trying to hype it for Karen, and I feel like I, I, I was finally like, listen, I'm not going to hype it anymore because I think you think it's one thing, but it's going to be very different. Oh, is she, has she never been? No, she, I don't think she's ever been to a convention. Oh. I'm trying so, to think. Uh, like, 
I'm trying to imagine like the most like lame convention, and I think she might think that's what it's like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm like, listen, we're gonna be playing tons of board games. Yes. Which I um Yes. Yes. We started playing board games, a lot of two player stuff. Yeah. So we played I introduced her to a pandemic. Mm -hmm. uh, so we played a bunch of that then we played uh forbidden... i feel like that's ikea for relationships right for nerdy yeah. relationships pandemic and then we played some forbidden uh island look I'm, I'm just gonna say this i'm not proud of it but i have legit lost friends and been like unofficially kicked out of a game board game group because i get too aggressive with co-op games in terms of i'm like <laughs> i just take over everybody's turn in a way and i'm like all right you need to do this and then you're gonna do this yeah. this and this and i do that with just, pandemic yeah and they just stopped inviting me and i was like, like she was yep. like oh i think i'll go over here and then then i can so, no, no, no. i want to keep this card so i can fly back i'm like karen just go to atlanta and we win the game <laughs> yeah um well i i was doing the same thing i sent maggie a text message today and i said oh my god we can play betrayal at the house on the hill which is her <gasps> favorite board game at I love that game with will and karen i love that game I actually don't like it that much, but really, I'm really into it. it. All right, I'm about okay, to drop I'm trying this to think paper. of the best place to tie in this coal. Okay, that's too late. I'm already here. Oh, you are here. Sorry, I was kind of just listening to you and walking around aimlessly. So I think we just drop it. Where where does it drop? Like over the here. Oh, over there. Unless you literally. Well, what want if I just, just bring it over here and do a splitter right here? No, no, but look at me, look at me, look at me. Instead of no, doing that me. splitter, why don't you just run it straight into it? Here? Because then that one line just always goes to wherever. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, just so do an do underground this. into it. I'm sorry, could you spell that out some more for me, please? All right, and then I'm just going to have to probably go back up and overmine Perfect. that section. Do I even have that feeding properly? Oh, it's... Yeah, it's not even full of coal. So I need to go up there and get these miners going even more. Back to the train station. Oh, By the way, way yeah. um, I don't know if you noticed. I'm pretty sure you didn't because you just don't pay attention when I do beautiful things. We now have three trains running. Oh, nice. I was going to say, I love that we made cars and we're not utilizing them. <laughs> oh, no, we're definitely utilizing them. I, haven't... I, think the, I think the only the one at the back we're not utilizing. Oh, I can't get in. I can yeah. get in the coal train. Kappa town. All right, we make some miners. Yeah, I'm excited for PAX East. Um, I have a something a little special that I don't think I want to reveal yet. You know it will, but I don't want to tell I did. people. I told about some it. friends at work. So right, I told the, uh, one of yeah. our listeners, uh, Katon. But here's the yeah. other thing: is that no, I I figured out. Okay, my my quandary was, I'm worried that people won't realize what it is that they'll think it's something else easier that other people have done before to the same effect but i think i can just show it in the video itself and people will realize what's going on if that makes sense yeah 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 shout out to our one watcher my brother hi alex okay so let's go up here and let's build you're up here with me right yeah uh, let's just build a crap just ton typed of miners in uh, anyone watching the chat, um, I was not clicked on Factorio, and I was trying to move. Wow. I don't know, like, the optimal layout for miners, but I usually just keep them apart from each other, you know? Do you want me to place any? Because I have a bunch. Yeah, I say start at the bottom, and I'll work my way towards you. Start at the bottom and work my way up. Uh, when I said I had a bunch, I meant I had two. Um, well, how about you come up top and run conveyor belts for me? Um, I've been listening to the radio lately for just like a variety what? of reasons when I Shut normally up. don't listen to the radio. Why are you doing that to yourself? Okay, well, here's the thing. So um, you already know this, but I bought a car. Um, it's a new Subpixel Edit fan. And I found out shortly after I bought it. I mean, it is a used car. It's not like this is a deal breaker. Someone was murdered in it. No, that would actually be slightly better than what happened, which is that the aux cord or the aux input doesn't really work. 
No. Um, it's not a huge deal because I was planning on putting in an aftermarket radio anyways. But now kind of the problem is that um, I'm not going to be able to do that until at least this weekend if I expedite it. And I'm really used to listening to podcasts or even just music. So now I just have to um, listen to radio. So not great. That's oh, my Jay, story. Can you explain the circumstances around the truck you bought? I think Sorry, Ian would like that. The Chuck you bought? The truck he bought. Oh. Yes. Yes, because I was considering. If I could get it running, I was thinking about buying that. That would be cool. Oh, no, not that truck. Oh. Uh, no, no, I'm talking about the vehicle he drives every day. Oh, what is it? Day. It's like a Ford F-150 1010. Oh, okay. Well, he is we should buy the... But uh, no, there's uh, some interesting, uh, some interesting facts about it. Oh no, he says no. <laughs> I know he does. I'm well, not gonna tell it with. I'll, I'll tell you off air. I won't tell it without his blessing. You should um, ruin his oh, life. No. no, 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 no. I was doing that. Yeah, you go ahead. Okay, so this <laughs> I, looks pretty good, right? Yeah, I like it. Kind of. Well, there's one side that's full. The this other is, side uh, is literally not. not connected to anything over here, but got you back. What's that looks hideous. I can't believe I did that. There we go. Okay. All right. Let me, um, I think this top one has to go. It's a 2006 Dodge Ram 3500 mega cap. Con congratulations, I guess. Is that what Do you still need me up up there? No, that's the car he bought with the interesting story. Oh, no, no, Ford. I understand. Yeah. Hey, my Ford Focus is great. Hey, it depends on the Ford. Uh, my parents have a 93 F-150 that is real good. Um, I was Did surprised your, um, um, how expensive pickup trucks are nowadays. They start at like 40000 It's ridiculous. Ooh, Jeep Comanche. That's pretty nice. Uh, Ian, did your father ever go to that Kmart? I don't think he did. Oh man, this iron is running out. But we the got iron. it coming in from the other place. Um, yeah, he yeah, did. I don't think he did. There were some real good deals there. Dude, I was telling Karen about it. I was like, if I lived closer, yeah, I would have gone there I... in a heartbeat. So my new car is a 2008 Rav Four, which actually has huge space on the inside. I probably could go buy that shelf unit we were looking at you know the one oh, i'm talking yeah. about it was like a enclosed metal cabinet about six feet yeah. tall that that was the one for like 20 bucks that is exactly perfect for what we need in the in the garage actually i wonder i should just go back during my lunch break and see see if they still have it yeah that place was sad um it's like the, the thing apocalypse is, hit it i went there a couple years ago it was identical <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. Oh, damn it. I I'm just clearing up all these dead drills. You're a dead drill. Wow, that was really mean. Accurate, though. But true. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Extremely accurate. Um, folks uh, who uh, probably don't care, I bought Divinity Original Sin 2 today. Because it was on sale, and I think I'm finally going to play it. You keep talking about us doing content on that, but how feasible is that? I don't know, like, but what, apparently what it's it? it's it's a co-op game. You can play the entire game co-op. Maybe we should just do something where for a stream, you just kind of show it off a bit, you know? Yeah. Um, I was playing some Dragon Age Origins, the That's 360 disgusting. game on uh, my Xbox One. Which, is that the, Which one is that in the series? That's the first one. Yeah, see, that's the one I've heard is actually really good. Yeah, so I was playing. It's good. It's very, like, um, I don't know. It's somewhere in between uh, KOTOR and Mass Effect, mm -hmm. even though it's still a Bioware game. Like, you still do the classic, like, you click on an enemy and your character stops for a second and then runs over to the enemy to attack. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. It's weird. I I'm really I'm enjoying it. Um, and I've realized actually this is the second time I've tried to start it. And so I'm exactly at the point where I stopped playing on PC 
years ago. And I'm oh, not sure weird. if I'm going to continue. I'd, it's like, I don't know, it's it's weird. Like, if, yeah. if it was back in 2009 or whenever it came out, I might play it a lot more. But um, just because sure. the graphics don't do anything, nothing really does anything. The, the, there's a lot of story, which I, I'm enjoying. Hey, can you do me a favor? Uh, can you, um, the very southern conveyor belt in that steel furnace section... When it comes out of the tunnel on the left-hand side, can you put that into a splitter? The last couple of furnaces are getting hung up. They can't feed the belt properly because they're it's getting backed up. You see what on I the mean? The last steel furnace. On the left side, the output belt and the tunnel. You're in the correct row. Go all the way to the end. All the way to the end. The output tunnel, have that this... feed into a splitter. Or at least something because oh put a splitter right here yeah i don't know if that's the correct solution but you see the 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 tunnels feeding into that they're backing yeah, so up a little bit and I'm occasionally do... yeah see 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 what happened right there with the, the the inserters they're stuck they can't drop because the tunnel's full oh i see i see what you're saying yeah yeah, yeah. so it just needs to feed a little bit better because the one side of the belt is has a lot more on it than the other well, yeah, Alex, if you have a Kmart closing near you, I would go. They they literally took every single piece of furniture and hardware in the store and put it on sale, including they must have had like five or six like heavy duty steel wood 80s sheet metal desks that were like beat up but still working for like five dollars each. And they just put them in the empty sections of the store and just put price tags on all of them. All the furniture, yeah, all the crazy. shelves. Yeah. They had all these like bookcases. If you just imagine a retail store like behind the scenes like all the lockers for the employees and all those, those warehouse conveyor belts mm -hmm. yeah like the stock room conveyor belts you just push stuff down it's um, pretty Ian, awesome is what i did here good it seems to be working a lot better also i realized if you have radar up and running that's what lets you zoom in on the map yeah that looks great oh uh, actually well it's at least it's at least loading the belt yeah yeah i think it was just backed up but that looks pretty yeah I, think, I don't know. Is there, well, is there because, a better way? Because the thing with the splitter is that it, if it's coming in on the right side, then it just tries to add it on the right side on the new belt. Well, is there a way to like... It back in like that. Well, no, but it's still on the right side. I think it's, I think it's both of those belts need to feed into a single belt. Yeah, I think this that, is a good solution for now. Because it still empties that tunnel. Well, sometimes. But sometimes it's too thick. Right, but it doesn't have to wait for this to one side to be empty. It waits for both. Like it can still feed in even if the one side is empty. I know. I don't think. You know it, I think a. I think a splitter. If it sees something coming in on the right side, it will still throw it on the right side. It would never throw it to the left side. That's my point. Right, but it's yeah. also. So that's why I think you feed the top section to the bottom section, I think you feed them left, right sides of a single belt. Okay. Because one side is backing up. Right. Yeah. So I need to do the weird, I, I want to, it's like a Y. Yeah. 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 Am I going to have enough room for that? I'm going to check production levels. What are we at? 32.1. We went down somehow. Um, All right, I put radars in. Let me check. It's it is. It's not. It's. I mean. It's partially the steel, but not really. Yeah, we're still only feeding about two thirds of the engine line. Nice. Yeah, so so what happened to Alex was um, Will and I made a run to Micro Center, which is kind of the fries of the East Coast, um, to get some stuff during the shoot. And then I realized that Kmart was closing and we were next to it, so we went there. We didn't find anything for us, but we found a whole bunch of nice furniture. And I was in my Civic at the time, so I called my pops and I was like, hey, you should get to... Uh, you should get to... Um, 
you should get to this Kmart and pick up a bunch of stuff. But he was like, oh, but the truck's not working right. I think the brakes are leaking, blah, blah, blah. So I don't think he ever actually went. So we didn't actually get anything. We just saw a bunch of good deals. So we went, screw you, dad. Screw you, dad. I don't know. I kind of ride him because he, he built a giant 30 by 40 <laughs> foot workshop. I helped him like furnish it. And then every time I go in there to work, it's just completely disorganized. It is somehow harder to work in that shop than it was in the two-car garage that had cars in it at night. Because he's just, everything's disorganized. And it's like, every time I get in there, I'm like, where, where are the tape measures? We have four tape measures and none of them are in the tape measure drawer. And he's like, uh, I don't know. So it's what's like, a tape what's a tape measure? Anyways, I'm ranting and raving, but it's like I gave it's like it's like he gets more space to get more work done, but in reality it's just more places for him to misplace things. Yeah. Anyways. Okay, um, Seal's doing a lot better. The only thing I'd say is it's not getting uh iron plates fast enough. Um, feeding from so is that is that iron ore? Do we need to load up that iron ore belt? Um no because it's to hit the that iron last because the last couple just columns, getting eaten too quickly yeah yeah but what i mean is if we fill the belt because there are gaps in the belt oh i i think i know par, at least part of the issue maybe if we really want to so i built a whole new iron ore section down southeast but it's entirely it's uh, entirely I slow see this, this feed right here is not even coming in fast enough too yeah see that's the problem is it's slow belts there so it's slow belts, and as soon as they hit the, the fast belt, it spreads out. Which means it's got gaps in it. So we, we basically need to go back and increase the number of fast belts. Yeah, just like Why that, baby. do that? I'm coming down to help. I hate when it does that. I ran out. No, Zach's here. Hi, Zach. Hi, Zach. Not playing dumb space engineers? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, 30 by 60 shop sounds great. The The good thing was I... I he's, he was planning on buying... Building the shop. He was having somebody pour the concrete pad and the asphalt millings and do the building. But the rest of it he was going to do himself, except for, like, the electrical inspection and sign-off. Um, and he asked me for help to like put up the drywall, finish out the interior studs, do the help with the electrical work and then build out like the rest of the, he built out a little office in the corner with drywall, etc. And I said, I will help you on one condition. You leave me space to buy and install a lift. And he did. So we have a 12 foot car lift in there, which is awesome. Nice. It makes working on everything so much easier. I really want to get a shop uh, so I can do like like lathe work and all oh, sorts of yeah. stuff. Yeah, that's that's honestly that's like the big downside of the shop is that I don't live. I live 15 minutes away now, but at the same time, I don't want to be over there every day. So I really yeah. just need it to be in my backyard so that I can like do 30 minutes of work every night and be fine as opposed to like one day a week. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to lay some more. Okay, steel's doing a. It's steel's reaching a lot further on the line now, but not far enough. Um. Yeah, let me check the last ten minutes. We're at um, thirty-five. We were looking at studios today, just as like idle chatter. I think we could do it pretty cheap. It's just a matter of. I don't even think it's Where? the cost of the studio that's the issue. It's that everybody has to move and then basically support themselves off of Subpixel. Yeah. We're all going to Seattle. Yo, Seattle prices are skyrocketing, though. Yeah, they are. Actually, I heard... Um, is it Lincoln, Nebraska? It's very... Very... Uh, up and coming in the... No, uh, no comment. In the scene. Yeah, we should just go to Minneapolis. I would go to Minneapolis, except for the winters. Uh, we could do North Carolina. It's not that great in and of itself, but there's booming game, game dev true. scene down there. We could do North Carolina. My cousin lives in North Carolina. I live in North Carolina. 
You don't live in North Carolina. That's a bad joke, because, uh, I mean, you're the only one who knows it's a joke. <laughs> uh, Ian's address is... Um, um, at 123 um, Real Street. Ian, you're not, you're not supposed to say your address. Oh, well, we can, we can cut that in post, right? Do you think people with what? do you think there's like people who do ASMR who have really bad voices? <laughs> like if Gilbert Godfrey did ASMR. Well, I want you to <gasps> know. Uh oh, you well, got dropped from the game. I did. It says wow. you're being dropped from the game. You're reconnecting from a different source. Uh, I'll be right back. I gotta close my window because it's cold. I will. Okay, let me know when you're leaving. Bye. Okay, Will left. Man, I, I hate that question. I just want to die. I had it like a really good dream last night. Where I strangled him. I just put my hands around his neck. And I the key is you put both thumbs in and you just kind of press it. It's like you're tearing the throat, not just squeezing it. You're just really getting in there. Hey, Will, did you close your window? Okay, let's see. Gotta get springs. Do you think it's taking him a while because he's a wimp? No, no, you can stay under the desk. Okay, I'm back. Um. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I'm back. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's wrong? I'm, I'm back. No, just stay. Yeah, you're fine. <clears throat> no, Sorry. I already. You know. Uh, what? I'm back. I don't know what's wrong with you. Uh, uh, um. Yeah, my <laughs> so my Gilbert Gottfried ASMR was just like. Wait, so I this is this is gonna take a little bit of build up. So normal Gilbert Gottfried <laughs> is. Hi, welcome to the Gilbert Gottfried Amazing Colossal Podcast. That's not bad. That's honestly That's not, not bad. bad. For my first time, that's the first time I've ever done. Actually, a you more sound first. like that parrot from uh, Aladdin. What's that movie Aladdin. Yeah, that's true. So I feel like ASMR is. How welcome to the day, Gilbert Gottfried. That's the worst thing I've ever heard. Welcome to the day. It's like it's like the gravel doesn't go away. You just are softly breathing over it. Can this hey, stop? I was, I was just about to say, let me know when this bit has lived its day. Okay, I got a bunch more conveyor belts. What did I do? What did I do when I sang out of tune? Would you stand up and kill me? Kill me. Please. Make it stop. I I'm don't. sorry, what? Dude, I was upset. Um, HQ Trivia was gonna yeah. ha had a Lord of the Rings trivia night, and I forgot about it. I went Are back you? and looked at the questions. They were so easy. Are you allowed to be talking about that? Why couldn't I be talking about that? <laughs> no, seriously, though, like, would your boss get mad if he found out you were talking about HQ trivia? No, we play HQ at work. Oh. Yeah. You got to keep an eye on the competition. Does it count as competition? Actually, don't, don't you guys, like, mostly do sports stuff? Uh, it's not really competition. I don't know. Um, really at work today, I was, I was, yeah, because they have way more people. Oh, um, oh, I get the joke now. We were, I was setting up my new computer at work, and I was trying to think of a really offensive oh, uh, background wait. I could put up without being like overt, like actually offensive. So I put a bunch of HQ pictures as my background. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the freaking guy, one of the guys, walked in. He goes. What? What is your? Why is your background that? Just like something to aspire out. to. Uh, I was like, oh no! I just put up my favorite trivia game show. 
Oh my god, Will, I, so I, I had the idea, I, I've been playing a lot of mobile games lately. Um, yes. And I realized that, okay, a lot of people say this, a lot of people are just egotistical, full of themselves. I check all those boxes. So of course I'm going to say the same thing, which is, it's probably pretty easy to make a successful mobile game that makes you money because of, there's so many of them out there and I know they're making money because they're still around and they're paying for all these ads. Like, and they're just full of microtransactions, but that's how they're so easily making money. Why don't we just do that? We could just make a subpixel clicker. Yeah, that's true. We could, and um, I also realized like a couple weeks ago, I was telling, uh, well, while playing on the subway, most like free games that you download that have ads that are really annoying, if you just turn off cellular data, it can't load the ad, so it just puts you back in the game. Oh, but it depends on the game, because some games will just do 30 seconds of black screen. Oh, really? A bunch mm -hmm. of the ones I've been playing just skips it. Um, oh, hey, by the way, we yeah, hit 150 yeah. subscribers. Congratulations. I saw. 100, 156 now? I think we're at 156. Well, what are we going to do for 200? We just kind of uh, skipped same over thing 100. we did for 100. <laughs> yes, <Yeah, smart decision. laughs> We should try and do something nice for 200. I also... I noticed um, I we get emails with subscribers, but we only get like occasional ones. We don't yeah. get. Do we not? Do we get the email for every single subscriber? I don't think so. Um, but I think I think I, it was either you or Jake who said something about if their subscriptions are set to private, oh, then the right. channel pirate, doesn't get notified. Mean. Yes, if it's set to pirate, then you never know who they are. That's um, not bad. That's I just improv. I've had a candle next to me. Whoa! And uh, uh, it's my mahogany teakwood candle. <clears throat> and Wait a uh, you can place what? items from the zoomed-in map screen. What? Um, but you still have to be within off? range. But I'm sorry. What? Candle, antique candle. Is that what you were saying? Are you still there? I actually can't hear you if you're talking. Maybe he finally died. Oh, I think Will just lost the internet. You can't see because it's hidden by the webcam chat. I don't know why I'm waving. Oh, I'm waving goodbye. Bye, Will. Bye. Good riddance. Um, the webcam is hiding it. it. Says the Wizard King was dropped from the game. So uh, sounds like it's just you and me, folks. Um, Will or Zach? I mean, sorry, I mean Alex or Zach. How about you tell us something embarrassing about Will? Yeah, let's get that going. Meanwhile, I've got to go get more springs or gears. I think they're called gears. That's what they're called. Okay, let's see if Will said anything. Um, I'm going to try something crazy. Just texting him right now. Figuring out what's going on. All right, let's get some gears. 2019? Wow. Um, just to even it out, I'll tell you the, about the last time I pissed the bed. Um, it was, it was when The Great Gatsby came out with Leonardo DiCaprio, which was, um, I believe that was 2013. Uh, 2012 or 2013, because I was also limping at the time because I cut my leg open with an axe. Um, and it was shortly after that and um, we went to see the great Gatsby and um, we stopped at a bar afterwards and we were all drinking and I usually am the designated driver. I was not this evening, so I felt like I could especially let loose. Uh, other people weren't really drinking that much. I wasn't drinking a whole lot. I think I had like two, three beers, but on the way out of the bar, I was like, give me a shot of tequila. I took the shot of tequila downed it went home i'm still pretty drunk stumble into bed i'm like 
feeling good. Uh, about 30 minutes later, I wake up and there's a very rapid succession of events. Number one, I wake up. Number two, I realize I have to pee very badly. Number three, I remember it's the future, and in the future you can pee in the bed, and it just takes care of it for you. You don't have to get out of bed to go to the bathroom. So number four, I deliberately piss the bed. Just empty my entire full bladder into the bed. And then about 10 minutes later, um, well, I'm sorry, I, I Hello? peed and then went back to sleep. I'm sorry, what was that, Will? Are you there? Hello? Um, <laughs> just telling my pee story. So I everything went black. I deliberately peed the bed, and then I went back to sleep. Woke up ten minutes later, slightly more sober, and I realized what I had done. And um, that's the last time I peed the bed. I'm sorry, Will. What happened? <laughs> well, I was sitting here. Yeah. And then I was trying to tell my candle story, which I will get back to. And then your power went out. And then yeah, I think my my i must said my boyfriend's girlfriend my roommate's girlfriend I, I, i'm assuming she was trying to blow dry her hair or something which that occasionally happens but i thought i had moved enough off the circuits to stop that um oh okay and i just screamed why now <laughs> and then uh then my I was roommate walked past laughing i figured worst case i was just gonna get you on the phone and like speakerphone you into the rest of the conversation that would have been good yeah. Um, I know we're going closer because you texted me. You're like, yeah. hey. Well, I also I could tell like, at uh, least your internet went out. So I figured yeah. sending you a Discord message Ian, isn't going to do much. Yeah. Shut up. We're close. Let's candle story. Um, so I have a candle next to me that was going for a while, and there's a lot of liquid in it, and going I almost picked where? it up and drank it instead of my drink. Wow. That is pretty messed up. That's... And I was then I was thinking of hot, like wax solidifying coating your throat, oh, and how God. horrible that would be. Oh, that'd be so good. Oh God, that'd be great. You ever um, you're not you don't listen to Comedy Bang Bang, right? No. Dom DeLillo, the uh, Andy Daly character, he's he talking like this, and then you get the girls on like that, and you have them do a chorus line for you. Although well, actually, it's one. Of... <laughs> Ah, uh, it's more of a, like an old man voice. And then he says, oh, I'll tell you, it's quite a show. Why am I turning it? That's more of like a Trump impression. That was like Batman. All right, I think I actually did increase, increase the throughput on the, um, the iron ore belt. Oh, I think I totally did. It was mostly the splitter at the bottom that was causing the, the delay. So we may get all the steel furnaces going up <laughs> shortly. Because I think this this design is supposed to work with a packed red belt. Um, oh man, now I have to restore all my. Oh no, restore your. Oh lot. no, all of my. Uh, all of my tabs are reopening. Oh yeah, look at that! I got. Okay, so the steel, the iron plates are full. Oh, Ian, you look good. I finally saw a picture. Thank you. On Twitch? Or just no, in general? No, the YouTube reloaded and it unpaused. Okay, all right, that's going. By the way, I should check our... Electrical looks good. He once choked on a piece of ice. Uh, yeah, Shut no, up. Don't mind about that. Don't mind about that. Okay, so consumption... I kissed a girl. Good. Did you like it? Um, yeah, it was pretty good. Well, we're at 33.0 cars per minute. That's really not bad. Oh no, yeah, 35 cars per minute. It's not bad But in all. the last five seconds, we've been at 40. Wow. At least we're spiking. I don't think, I, you know, when we set out to do this, we thought 100 per minute was gonna be easy. I think I think it's the twenty engines per car that we didn't realize. Yeah. That's what that's what that what threw me off. Right? Because it's it is twenty engines per car, right? Let me check it. Check it, check it, check it. Check, oh, check, no, check, you're check, the prostitute. Check, 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 check. 
It's uh, 20 iron plate, easy. Five steel plate, easy. It's eight engines per car. That's that's the slowdown. Okay, all right. So we actually are going to slow down a little bit down here because of... Oh, jeez, I got a lot of miners going. Why do you have oh. so many miners? Um, is that with an O or an E? Uh, never mind, my, my attorney advised me not to answer that. <laughs> Classic joke. I'm sorry, what? What? Hi, are you there, Ian? Oh, I'm sorry, everything went black real quick. Hi, Ian. Ian, is this you, Ian? No, this is somebody else. Hi, is this Ian? I'm trying to reach Ian. No, this is Ion Gripson. We in Cripson? Ion Gripson. Hi, is this Ian? Hi, we're full of bad jokes tonight, and I will not apologize for any of them. Hello, is this Ian? Ian, I'm trying to reach you. Hello. Hi, Hello. welcome to the phone line where you call in and give us a random name and we never respond to it. Hello, I don't know is where this, this Gary? Going. Hello? Gary, yeah, it's with you. Would you like a cheese pizza? Will, that voice is incredible. It sounds exactly like a fake 80s computer voice. It does <laughs> not compute for you. Is this a cheese pizza? Will, that really is incredible. Also, please Hello. stop saying please stop saying cheese pizza after we just talked about it. Would miners. you like a pepperoni pizza? Um, that's a really good voice, though. Not even kidding. Can I kiss you, little boy? That's kind of like, um, <laughs> you ever... <laughs> you ever heard, um... Rob Brydon's um, man in a box. Tiny man, yeah. Oh, God, man trapped so... in his in a yeah. box. It's Hello, so good. Help me. I can't do it very well. I I can't do it at all. That's a good movie. The Trip. Have you seen that one? I've seen all of them. Oh really? I think I've only seen the yeah, two. There's, wasn't there's there the like trip, a... there's the trip to Italy, and then there's those are the two I've seen. And wasn't there like a series? Actually, yeah, there was a series, and then there was a. Which I think the series was just uncut footage from one of the trips. Hi, Maggie. Oh, hi, Maggie. Oh, hi, Maggie. Maggie. Tell her I said hi. She, uh, Will says hi. Hi, Will. Oh, she's not hi, feeling Maggie. well. I can tell she's not feeling well because she just pulled down a big old bottle of Pepto. She didn't let me read her paper and I was very upset. Oh, it's too late. They already know. I'm sorry, everyone. You can forget that Maggie has a giant bottle of Pepto. I don't know what she's planning to do with it. It's a bottle of whiskey. Pink whiskey. Oh, God. Can you imagine that? Like, pink Ugh. milk of his guns. Did you throw a sponge at me? Wait, oh. you didn't You didn't tell her my gripe. Um, Will said that he's glad he read your paper and that it was lovely. No, I'm upset you didn't send it to me. What? He said he's worst. upset that you didn't let him brief read your paper. She made me a promise at Red Lobster and she didn't keep it. He said uh, that you made him a promise at Red Lobster and you didn't keep it. Okay, let's see. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, thanks, Zach. I like my face, too. I love your face. <laughs> oh, Hello. Nice. Hello. Would you yeah, like I... to eat your sandwich? How are you doing that? Are you doing anything physical? Like, you know, putting <laughs> knuckles in your mouth or something? <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like, how are you doing that? Ian, it does not matter how I am no, doing this. I feel like you're going... Like you're like force <laughs> smiling yourself. Or if you put like. Okay. No, see, putting knuckles Ian. in your mouth doesn't help. Ian. Ian. Yeah. Ian. Yes. Calm down, Ian. It'll be okay. Are you punching your throat while you're doing it? No. No. I am oh, sorry. Do you need help? I'll make sure not to show everybody the giant bottle of Pepto that Maggie can't open. 
This is being recorded. You cannot do domestic abuse on recording. Wow, this actually is on really tight. Ow. Oh my god. Are you punching your throat? I can't believe you said that. <laughs> is it a squeeze? I'm watching it back it's so I can see Maggie. It's just a squeeze, darling. You just gotta squeeze it. <laughs> That's a good stream for our uh, two this is viewers. A good stream. Very good stream. Okay, all right. So how's the? Oh, uh, my pterodactyl burps are the best. I feel like steel is doing almost exactly the same as it was before. Good uh, spelling on pterodactyl there, Zach. Ooh, that actually is. That's a very. That's good such spell. a good-looking word. Pterodactyl. Yeah. You ever think about how pterodactyl is like? The first start is just tear a dick. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's worse. It's tear a dick till... Till what? Oh yeah, this, is a, this is what we call a stretch, folks. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Stretch it. No, please don't stretch it. I said tear, not stretch. Yeah, really into tearing. Oh, Maggie, can you please turn the... Maggie! Studio lighting is very important. Thank you. God, I love her so much. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Maggie. <Oof. sighs> um, I'm going to do something real quick. Nobody look. Zach says we're going to play the stream at our joint funerals. We're going to play this until our joint funeral. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> Is that a weed funeral? Hey, mom, get your joint. Oh, God. Well, one what? of my favorite things in the world. Is when I'm racist like that? Oh, no. Scratching. It's like scratching your ear. You know, like you pick at the inside of your ear. <gasps> Mom's here. <gasps> mom made it. Hi, Mom. You actually missed a really good stream. I'm not saying we're done, just that we're on you know fire. You know what I noticed, tonight. Ian? On the yeah. side of YouTube, it doesn't say we're live. What do you mean? It's very annoying. Like, next to a couple of YouTube channels I listen or watch, oh, it has it a little red, red record button. Like, they're live. I wonder if we have to hit, uh, like, a certain uh, threshold in order to do that. Fleshhold? That is very inappropriate. Okay, Will. Um, uh, uh, do you think I can take a backup of this save while it's running? What do you mean? Just save it. Um, well, I want to take a backup. Uh, you miss funny computer voices. Um, Ian peeing the bed, me making a joke about my desk. Um, All right, I'm gonna try something. Mentioning the unfortunate circumstances of, of my brother's car. Um, uh oh, all sorts of stuff, you know. Oh, okay. All right, I think oh, we're good. Space Engineers is a bad video game. 11.46 p.m. Is that UTC time? I don't know, but why are you getting a snapshot of this? What happened? Nothing. March 3rd. What's today? March 5th. Oh. No, I'm just, um, I'm just trying to back up the server. We, um, we're still not producing. What are we at? Enough. We're not producing enough um, steel. Steel still. Oh wait, wait. Why are these furnace? Oh no, that's the copper. I think also, we just. I just noticed these are all slow. <gasps> Shoot, mama. Shoot, mama. Oh, we're good now. Okay, so should we speed all those up? I don't think there's a backup though, is there? No, I don't think there is either. But I'm just doing this now that they're in my hands. Mm hmm. <gasps> Shoot me. Shoot me in the face hole. Should we double? I'm going to do something crazy. I don't know if it's actually a good idea or not, but I'm going to do it. Okay, you ready? Okay, do it. All right. Let's see. Uh, 
Uh oh, a message was redacted. <gasps> That's retracted. Are you illiterate? Just asking for a friend. Uh, no, I have very bad eyesight. I need to get my eyes fixed. Oh man, that didn't really. That kind of worked. I gotta go. I got a GP show Shelby the 50 states. Oh. Oh. Is that a euphemism? I don't know. That's a weird euphemism. Oh my gosh, Ian. Uh, one of our longtime fans, Katon, <gasps> uh, my coworker. Yes. Um, is dead. No. He. Um, good, for good for him. Oh, sorry. He was very adamant about us doing a scan lines of a certain thing. So uh, next, uh, not next episode uh, produce or uh, out, but the next episode we record, we're going to take a 10 minute detour to do this thing for him. To do this thing for him. What is it? I'm very excited. It's just a, it's just a quick thing. He's like, you and Ian should look at this on one of your episodes of scan lines. So I said, I said, listen here, Katon. First of all, don't tell me how to fucking do my job. <laughs> Whoa, PG-13 stream Sorry. there, buddy. So that's our one F word. That's our one F word. We're done. Dang it. Um, okay. So I was right. saying that for emphasis. So but anyways. I, I basically took, okay, you know how you have your main bus line and you split off one of them? Yes, down? I have a bus. So I basically yes. took another split off of it, if that makes sense. Okay. So that instead of splitting at 50-50, it's now 75-25. Yeah. Does that make sense? See what I did here? Yes, I see it. That yeah, is so good instead idea. of just 50. Because I, I th and we'll just have to monitor the cars because that's where the other line is going. But I think it's okay. So let's see if it yeah, actually... I'm just seeing to difference. see how far this is making it. It is, uh, before I made the change, it was almost, it was like six of north of the radar station. But I think it's actually making a positive impact, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> Let's see. Mormon version of The Bachelor? Is that like only on Utah area televisions? Colorado's probably got a lot of Mormons, right? Yeah, so it made it an additional, like, four or five assemblers. Oh, but we still have more coming down. I think that may have been actually a really good change. Yeah, I'm seeing how far these are making it. I know, I'm watching you. It's yeah. really creepy when you use the map. Okay, so this is where it had been making it, and now it's... No, no, I think I think it was... When I was looking at it earlier, it was, like, six north of the of the radar. Oh, you said north. Yeah, so, so yeah, we're going a lot further now. Yeah, I don't think it's going to make it to the end. Oh, wait, what's that dry spell? I think that's where. Oh, I, oh I think, see, look at all that stuff coming. Yeah, I think I that think was a natural. I think there was yeah. a natural dry spell because there was like all these assemblers that picked immediately. But I think yeah, I think it's going to be OK now. Forget how far you can zoom in in this game. Yeah, it's great. Oh, look at all the gear detail on these assemblers. I never noticed that. Yeah, it's good stuff. Oh man, okay. these are going pretty far now. Look at this. So the weird thing is we still only have two car factories up. Well, yeah, it's going to take a while for all these new engines to make their oh, way Oh, that's up. true. That's true. Let's see what it looks like. We're almost making it to the end. That's pretty good. So let me... I'm let just me trying to see if the final assembler is going to get any. Yeah, yeah, it makes it all the way to the final one. Nice. Okay, but the problem is we can't really expand that. No. We're kind of at capacity right now with But that. if we get more deal in, it'll populate more. Yes. <laughs> Bless you. But more steel is more steel furnaces, which means more iron plate and more coal. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. I have something on my machine. Oh, it's Will Crosby. Yeah, my power. Ooh, maybe I'm getting sick. Oh, no, don't get sick. Effect. Get glad. Oh, um, snap. Perfect timing because it's 11 o'clock. You know what? Since we have four people on the stream, I'm not ready to quit yet. Are you ready to quit yet? I mean, I was going to go do something else. No, I'm not ready to quit. Um, 
I think next week's stream, should I tell them what it is? Uh, yes, you should tell them what it is. We have a schedule. You lazy a-hole. Um, What'd you call me? I'm the hole, not a-hole. Right, so I've worn the F1 hat before, the Haas F1 hat. I am an F1 fan. And the season starts back up next Sunday with the Australian Grand Prix. And I figured, what better way to sell it? Good day, mate. Good day, mate. I don't know what that Good voice day, was. Mate. Hello. I'm <laughs> from Australia. So on next week's stream, I'm going to be breaking out my steering wheel and my pedals and uh, putting up a GoPro picture in picture so you can see the pedals being worked at the same time. And we're going to play some F1 2018. And uh, depending on how exciting that is, we also have a bunch of other uh, racing video games that we can play with um, with it. I think it's going to be a kind of interesting stream because it's going to be a little weird of a camera setup. You're going to kind of have right here, you'll see the um, the camera's going to have to change so you can see the steering wheel better. And there's going to be a picture in picture, like I said, with the pedals. It's going to be interesting. Um, just kind of mixing things up. I think it'll be, it'll be exciting. Oh my goodness, Will, we have six... Okay, we definitely need more steel. We definitely need more. So well, no, I, I realized mean, I mean, that new the line car, of... The car assemblers are running out of steel because now more of them are grabbing it. Yeah, that new line of uh, of Chanel products? No, that new line of... Uh, oh, never mind. I'm Take a liar. I thought the new line of cinema iron plate was only going to one thing but it's going to both things okay wait so i'm just trying to do some math here right so this is a hundred percent which means oh ian none of these iron plate things are dumping which iron plate things this is where our backup is no well they, they're they're kind of a not dumping because if you go over to where they dump in out of that tunnel that's not a yeah, backup. Yeah, this though. bottom row isn't going at all. I know, but look, it's not it's not a backup because the furnaces below are all filled, almost all of them. If you look at the where that where it's feeding into the tunnel, the issue is that the other side of the belt feeds first. And so it's right, filling the gap before the bottom at, row does. All of these are at 100. Oh, you mean they're not They're not dumping. They can't, they can't dump. So, all right, what do you want to do with that? Um, well, I think... I think I like tried to solve this, but the space was too crazy. Do you want to feed it up north all the way around to the um, the two fast... Yeah, that's what I'm almost... Yeah, I say do that. Split it off, feed it all the way up around, and dump it onto the where you are. Dump it onto those two belts. Yeah. Yeah, because the problem is... Now the car so assembly plants are not getting enough steel. Yeah. We got plenty of engines now. We're actually feeding engines all the way to the bottom of the car line. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's just steel now. I mean, it's still steel. It's just a different... Different... So... Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna... Oh, so I'm just gonna trim this one line. Um, but even uh, this whole thing I, isn't moving. Well, it's only it's only that one side. That's why I think you just throw a splitter off that. Yeah, that's true. I think you yeah I think you throw a splitter off that and join in that that top row of furnaces. <clears throat> because the the thing about that line that is that you're on right now is that's fed by the train. So it's not right. technically full all the time. It will have gaps in it. So even though it looks full right now, it is entirely possible. But you see how it's feeding right now? Yeah. So that's the thing is that I think we throw the splitter on it and just feed it up the upside. Or on the other side. <clears throat> Where? Uh, so I should put the splitter up over here? You need me to come? I'm just asking where you think I should split it. I, I would split well, I've it. I've already done it. So it doesn't matter. That's too high. 
Do you think that's too well, high? Actually, it doesn't really matter. I was just going to do like a super compact design and route it above the furnaces, but it honestly doesn't matter. You can split it up there. Yeah, I think we're way past compact designing here. I don't know. We're pretty compact. No, no, no. I mean, taking the time to do a compact design. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I hate you. <clears throat> Sorry, what? Did I yeah. hate you? Let's oh, put shit. them goobers together. Man, I'm running a foul tonight. I apologize, everybody. Are you running out of uh, fast belts? Because I can make some and come towards you. Uh, I'm at 35. So, yes. I just run out of iron so quickly in my own inventory. Yeah. Well, I'm next to the gears, which makes it a little bit easier for me. Because then I already have everything to build them. So I'm coming towards you. Okay, and so you want me to feed it back around into this one spot? Um, yeah, into those belts on the right-hand side. Because I think the top, the top row of steel furnace looks pretty good. It's the bottom two rows of steel furnace that are not feeding fully, if that makes sense. Okay, right. how do you drop stuff again? I think it's Z... I don't know if you... There you go. So you can. Okay, that's perfect. Thank you. And I, I have tunnels. I'm going to drop tunnels for you. It's hard to hold F and walk at the same time. Nice. Yeah, that looks real good. So then I'll feed one into this guy and the other one into the bottom guy. Yeah, I guess you could put a, a splitter here and one tunnel under and one feed direct. Well, I guess double splitter. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to look around here and see what that iron ore looks better. Okay. Okay. I think... Yeah. Yeah, I see what you're doing. Yeah, it's not the most pretty thing. Um, I'm going work? to, um fix it up a little bit down here yeah go for it just to make it split instead of feed into the side yeah that's fine okay cool i mean i wasn't asking for permission but i'm glad i have yeah but now you're asking for forgiveness bye alexander have a good night bye alex bye bye Okay, that one's good. Now this one needs to be... Oh, yikes. How do I do that one? I think it's fine, because these are so full now. Yeah, yeah. The bottom one I was able to split. The top one... Top one I wasn't. Um... You know what you could do is oh, go you know under what? to here and then split it over here. You mean like, oh, I don't yeah, have I think you're under. about to do it with Here's an under. But you split it right here. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Perfect. Hey, yep. we figured it out, everybody. Yeah, so now these are going to go. Yeah, it's kind of it's making it to the end now at least. Yeah, now that it's full. So basically these are almost at capacity. Full. 
This one up here is still, but it's Having because it's time being of it. fed by this guy up here. But yeah, that looks pretty good. So I think we let this run for at least another couple minutes or two, minutes or two, and try and get our correct production number to finish out the stream. How does that sound? That's uh, fine with me. Yeah, so maybe we just start doing a slow outro while it's kind of catching up. Um, Will, let's say somebody's found your content enjoyable. I'm trying to get away from saying like, hello everyone and welcome to yet another week, yet another live stream, or you know, like where can we find you? I'm trying to incorporate some fresh phrases in. Not new repetitive phrases, I'm just trying to mix things up. <laughs> Sorry. All right, phrase. I'm just gonna end the stream. Uh, Will. I still want to say, where can people find you? Will, let's say people yeah, have been... If someone was on the internet and they wanted to yes. locate um, some of your That's content... Fine, That's fine, dude. Where, Come on. Where would, they, where would they go? Will, I know you're part of Subpixel and we're very grateful for that, but if somebody... <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> Will, I know you're part of Subpixel and we're grateful for that. Um, how about... Uh, Promotions. Anything you want to promote? Uh, Will, thank you for joining us. Anything you want to promote as we close out the stream? A little uh, too no, professional sounding, but still uh, good. Check out uh, my channel, Subpixel. Uh, Ian sometimes on it. Wow. Just a big shout out to that. You piece of shit. That's our one S word. I got it in there. I said it earlier. Damn it. I think you can say damn it <laughs> as much as you want. Um, yeah, yeah, great promotion. Um, you can, I was about to say, you can find me. Wow. Thank this you. This is the worst thing ever. <laughs> Thank you, Will. This is like, this is like an episode of Scanlines. Like, these are all the parts we would cut. Now we're just streaming them directly to you. That's the power of the internet. Yeah, I really want to say you can find me. Do you, do you see what I'm saying, though? I think I think I'm relying too much on like three or four phrases, and I gotta mix it up a little bit. What? And if you enjoyed any of my jokes, you could probably find additional jokes <laughs> as well as really just oddball things on my Twitter account oh, at so Think Gibson. Today I posted about how I turned a spreadsheet into a car. That's a very clickbait sounding title, but it's not actually that exciting. It's just a stupid Twitter joke. Um, if you liked this stream, honestly, do you think people like this stream? I think it went pretty Doubt well. Doubt it. Doubt it? Mom says our normal intro is fine. Ian, where can people find you? I don't like this. <laughs> this is falling apart so badly. <laughs> well, Ian, you can find me crying out back, or you can find me on Twitter at Hunt270. I hate that. Um, and you can find both of us at subpixelfilms.com that'll bring you straight to our YouTube channel where you're at currently um uh yeah comment like subscribe you know hit that smash that like button just smash it please uh, with all your smash accounts it. mom I'd like to thank you for making 156 alternate accounts to uh, subscribe to us it means uh, a lot to us um so yeah, thanks for joining us, everyone, and uh, well, we'll see you. Uh, uh, nope. Before we go, Ian, this is we'll see you this Ian is the factorial the finale. Yeah. So, our final number is. It went down twenty two point five. I hate this game. I put so Wait, I what's put it a, over the past fifty hours. F over the past fifty hours, it is three point five per minute. Over the past hour. It, I'm just looking for 31.4 per minute. I'll take that. That's a nice number. 31.4 cars per hour. We have done it. We have designed our own car. We have tested and proven our own car. We have put our car on the moon. We have then shipped ourselves to brand new requisition site A42-13. I thought it was A42-12 and built our own car factory to produce a record-breaking this probably actually is a record in the industry 31.4 cars per minute elon musk watch out smell you later 
we are taking this industry by storm. Thank you for joining us, folks. Will, where can we find you? You can find me on Twitter at Hunt270. Bye. Bye.